Welcome to the FlowerSchool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I want to share with you a fabulous textural succulent boutonniere. It's amazing to me, today the standard rose boutonniere just isn't enough. The boys, the men, they want more, and on trend is texture and succulents. And thanks to floribundance.com, we have beautiful samples of each. Succulents, they come in all different sizes, from the enormous to the itty bitty. You want something in the middle for a boutonniere or portions of. It's easy to even take just a single petal and use that, working it into your boutonnieres. For texture, hydrangeas, stalk, oryngium, eucalyptus, seeds and berries and pods, so many different things to work with. It's so much fun. For the base of the boutonniere, I use spiraled aluminum wire. It's easy to do, absolutely beautiful, and it too is on trend in a contemporary boutonniere. Now for the wire, you just start with a segment and then using a jeweler's plier. It has smooth edges, not serrated. Just capture and start spiraling. And continue working, spiraling it into the center pulling it around, and as you work, think about how you want it to mold together. You can adjust it in your fingers, and then go back down to the other side. Start up from the bottom, creating a spiral, and then when you're done, squiggle it so that you end up with a top, a bottom, and a middle. The beauty of this style of boutonniere is you can use little bits, all the little leftovers that you have. I take two dashes, one at the top, then one down at the bottom, and then begin with the hydrangea. Now you always worry that hydrangeas won't hold but when they're little bits like this, it just adds texture and it doesn't fade and wilt. You can't tell it is because it's such a tiny little segment. Just pressing it into place, then going back with your Oasis Flow Adhesive Cold Glue, placing it on the back side of the succulent. Let it begin to dry. You can even add a tad into your hydrangeas. And let that begin to dry. And then the glue to glue sticks so well. Just nestle it into place, securing it down. Add a little pressure, then going back a single of the oryngium, cutting off the stem, dab of glue, and then adding it to the base. Then a little bit of color, a single florette from the stock, tucking it into the glue, and maybe another of the small oryngium, and tuck that into the glue and then let it dry. On trend with textures, succulents, and aluminum wire. What else is there? Jewels, of course. A little bit of sparkle. A single peacock-hued jewel that will tuck right in place. Look how beautiful that is with the dusty purple of the succulent and the grays and the blues. Stunning. Just a dab of glue right on the back, tiny bit of glue down on the frame, let them both begin to dry, and then just tuck it right into place for that perfect enhancement. To pin it on, a diamante pin for a little more glitter, or better yet, a single U-glue dash on the back, Peel it off, and it will adhere right onto the jacket. 
be totally secure and stable. For more creative inspiration, check out our website, flowerschool.com. If you have questions, if you want to know any more about how I did this, give us a call. It's 503-223-8089. And of course, I'd love to see what you create. Order your flowers, let Yost know that I sent you to florabundance.com, and then take a picture. Post it on Instagram or email it to my personal email. It's leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at floraldesigninstitute.com. Now it's your turn. Have fun and do something you love.